her last weekend at the docks. Big day. Boat's getting emptied. It is pouring rain and not supposed to stop. Super, super windy. We have been battling the weather all week. We haven't had a nice weather window yet. There's an unseasonably low pressure system. If you can't tell, I am exhausted. when the wind is blowing the right way or if there isn't much wind at all, which is like right now. I love that smell. Coffee? Thank you. You're welcome. Cheers. It's her last weekend at the docks. It's so crazy, I can't believe we're leaving in a few days. It's gonna be us in four days. <laughs> Crazy. It's Saturday today and we are leaving the docks on Thursday. So we have five days? We have five days left on the docks. We're gonna enjoy every minute of this luxury and we're also gonna work super hard to prepare for actually leaving the docks. We're gonna start with filling up our fuel tanks. So we need to fill up the diesel. We need to fill up the dinghy's gas tank and fill up our jerrys so we're nice prepared. We're also gonna put some sea foam into the diesel tank. If you saw the video where we got our dinghy engine going, we already did that for the dinghy. So we're gonna do the exact same thing for our diesel. We put sea foam in at the beginning of each season and if we remember at the end of each season. And basically, if, I'll read it. Um, it cleans and lubricates your entire fuel system, works through fuel injectors and carburetors to remove harmful residues and deposits from fuel pass passageways, intake valves, pistons, and chamber areas. It also works as a fuel stabilizer. And anyway, so we do, we use this stuff in both of our tanks. It's good for gas and diesel. And yeah, it just helps stabilize the fuel and hopefully preserve our systems. So we're gonna do that, fill up our tanks, and then go fill up more tanks. It's just getting fuel all around today. Oh, these are empty. Oh, both of them? Yeah. They're, oh no. <laughs> all right, well, I guess we'll have to fill those up and then. <laughs> Killing them. Good thing we figured that out before we went on our trip. <laughs> We will no longer have the dehumidifier on board. Oops. Yeah, we'll probably miss that bad boy. I know, can you dump that? Although it's getting it's getting drier out, you know? Goodness gracious. Is 
there anything else we needed to take off? Oh, twister oven. Well, there will be no more baking in the oven. It will be stir fries only from now on. <laughs> and barbecues. We have a barbecue. Oh, look how empty that is. That's wild. Is there anything else we need to take off? Big day. Boat's getting emptied. No diesel? Oh. 221. I know. Terrible what? time to get gas. That's Well, it is a super gloomy day here this morning. It is pouring rain and not supposed to stop until late tonight, which is a little bit frustrating because we had such a productive day yesterday and we're really hoping to get a bunch of stuff done today as well because every morning I wake up, I realize we have one less day to get ready to leave the docks. So yeah, I don't know. I guess we're gonna have we're gonna have a bit of a gloomy indoor day and see what we can get done. And yeah, we'll go from there. Can I just start with the, uh, just the hook? Yeah, for sure. We've been out of water for the past like three days and yeah we're like oh we'll do it tomorrow and so poor Jonas has to do it in the rain now but he very nicely volunteered. It's days like these where I really remember what it's like to live aboard in the winter and even then it's better because you know it's warm in here and we can keep it dry and stuff but I feel like as soon as spring hits I really easily forget about all of the windstorms and the rainstorms and the cold that we experience during the winter, which isn't a bad thing at all. I just, it's a nice reminder to have sometimes about how lucky we are to have this weather and just the other side of living on the boat. It also makes me really, really appreciate that we can have access to a dock and we have winter moorage because life in the winter around here gets a lot more uncomfortable with the elements. So we're so fortunate to have been able to spend the winter at the docks and it's just a really good reminder for me as we prepare to leave for the summer. Pass me the doggies? Yeah, of course. Can you open it up and I'll pass you through the hole? Ooh, yuck. Thank you. All right, Bear, I'm just about to bring him in. Okay. Oh, yuck. Oh, gross. Thank you. Goodness gracious. Thank you. Nice. 
<laughs> Bad day for our first day without the humidifier. <laughs> Glad to see the taxis are still going hard. So we didn't actually get any work done really at all yesterday. It was pouring rain all day and yeah, we just sort of took it as a lazy kind of Sunday. And today it's finally cleared up, but it's been so windy all morning. Like, yeah, super, super windy, which makes me thankful to be on the docks during this time because it's easier to get off the boat and you know, you know you're secured and stuff. But uh, yeah, the weather has been super strange, super unpredictable the last couple weeks. And I am really, really hoping that it calms down a little bit for our trip, which is coming up quickly. <laughs> uh, and we have a couple days leeway, like we, we don't wanna leave during any really bad weather, but yeah, we're hoping it cooperates. So, fingers crossed. <laughs> We've been keeping a super close eye on the weather over these past couple days, seeing if it's changing, if any big systems are gonna be moving through. Luckily, I think it's getting its shenanigans out now. So hopefully, yeah, we've just had so many really weird weather systems move through and we obviously want a nice relaxing sail for our first trip of the season. I've just been looking on Windy and a um, couple other weather sites just to kind of compare them. It does change surprisingly frequently, um, which is which I think is sort of normal for around here. We have we often have really windy springs, but the reason we've been paying a lot of attention to it is because if you remember our last trip, which was also around this time of year, we ran into some pretty harsh weather conditions. The weather changed fairly last minute and the wind picked up significantly. We were fighting currents, we were fighting big swell for us and yeah, so we really want to try and avoid that, have a smooth transition back into sailing and we're just going to leave when we can leave and if we have to postpone it or leave early then we'll do that. I'm getting excited, I'm getting a little bit nervous, but in the best of ways. I'm not gonna lie, this feels like it's just been an incredibly unproductive day, which is frustrating when we only have so many days left. But yeah, the weather is just making things really, really difficult to do anything. Even though it's bright and sunny, the wind is just, yeah, I'm not having it. So <laughs> it blew the camera over. Luckily, I think it's okay. Um, but yeah, it just, it's making things working outside really, really difficult. So I'm just gonna save that for another day and do some inside stuff. I also just saw there's a special weather statement for the area. They're about to get a unusually um, low pressure system for this time of year. 
and yeah it's supposed to come with tons of rain tons of wind so I'm just trying to keep telling myself like at least it's coming before we're leaving the docks we have a massive piece of kelp on our rudder and I tried to pull it off but I can't so I'm gonna have to wait for Jonas and we'll get in the dinghy and try and actually cut it off or something because it's super strong that stuff so that's how we're looking today not not overly productive but you're gonna have to have some of those days and I'm just gonna try and get some inside work done and go from there Good morning. It is our last day on the docks, which is so crazy to think about. We leave tomorrow. We don't have too early of a start. I think we're going to hopefully leave around noon, so that's not too bad. But that means we have a ton of stuff that we have to get done today. I'm literally surrounded by it. I have laundry, we're washing the bedding. I have more bedding, more laundry. We have been battling the weather all week. We haven't had a nice weather window yet, so we're really hoping we'll get one tomorrow. It looks like we will, which is really nice. But of course, spring just needed to throw us for a loop one more time because there's an unseasonably low pressure system coming through tonight. Um, so we're really hoping it doesn't get delayed. It looks like it's been delayed a little bit because this morning was already supposed to be just super windy, tons of rain. Right now it's sunny and calm. So I'm trying to enjoy that, use that to get some stuff done. And yeah, fingers crossed we don't get hit too hard. And we'll just go from there. We still need to get the stuff done because we still are hopefully gonna leave tomorrow. Obviously if the weather gets pushed back, we'll have to push our schedule back a day. but. That's the goal for now. First, I'm just doing a little bit of trip planning with my coffee because all good days start out with a cup of coffee and then we'll go from there. I gotta get this laundry in, take a shower, <laughs> all sorts of stuff. How do you feel? I'm feeling like I really don't want to do this right now. Did you talk about the windstorm? Pardon? It's supposed to be like 70 kilometer per hour winds today and we're supposed to be sailing tomorrow. I know, we, luckily but. we have a day in between, but it would be nice to leave tomorrow. Oh, <laughs> I don't want to do this, but it's going to start like raining super hard, I think, in yeah. like an hour, so at least I can start in the sun. <laughs> All right, I'll see you in a while. Nice look in the water. No. Grab it, grab it, grab it. Grab it, you got it. Oh. <laughs> that was, that was almost a disaster. <laughs> Oh, I can't even pick it up. Here you go. Thank you. Man, this is like one of the most more major windstorms we've had, I think. That was so bad. <laughs> I almost lost it. Aww. This is brand new, my hat. Yeah, because the other one was lost. <laughs> it's going to last at least all summer. Okay, see you later. Okay, I'm making the trick. This is just the most terrible time to be doing this. <laughs> But I waited too long.
Thank you. Come to my rescue. It's a lot. It's a lot of. You want me to take that? Oh, I can do it. Thanks. How'd you make out? I made out good. Got her done. <laughs> How so did I... sunny, but <coughs> so windy. I know. It's actually way like over there is way way worse. We're super lucky. Oh. Well, it's a miracle. It didn't rain while I was doing the laundry. That makes it so much worse. <laughs> Wow. Oh, yeah. Nice. Brand new. Oh, this is going to be so cozy. I can't wait. Yeah, that's it sounds funny, but I guess it'll get less crunchy. Yeah, it's just... Wow. Pretty nice. Of course. Did it dry out in here pretty good? Yeah. Right on. Oh yes. We're upgrading. Glow up. Wow. Look at that. Oh, Boom. So the time has come to switch from our AC fridge to our DC cooler. Ideally, someday we are going to get a AC DC fridge that goes off automatically when it's cold enough and turns on automatically when it needs to be chilled again. But that is a future item on our wish list. So for now, I'm just gonna switch everything over. And we don't know what we're gonna do with the fridge yet. It has to stay on the boat, so we might just leave it there for sort of like dry storage. Uh, we might be able to fit it back in like the quarter berth area, but I don't know. So for now, we're gonna have a cooler underneath the table and the fridge is just gonna stay as is and like, kind of act as like a cooking spot like we have it now. Okay, what do we got? Normally be kind of annoying to defrost the fridge because the ice builds up and the water leaks, but luckily I unplugged the fridge the other day while I was filming and forgot to plug it back in, so. I already went through that. Okay, here is our meal plan. Um, super, super simple. It just really helps with groceries because we're not gonna be going to places that necessarily have um, grocery stores or restaurants or anything. So yeah, it just helps with making a grocery list. Um, but we're going to be having lots of bagels, lots of toast and hummus. And yeah, lots of veggies and hummus. Hummus is a common theme. And also our souvlaki, or basically falafels. Okay, we got our haul. Jonas is making fun of me. But we did get four things of peanut butter. <laughs> they were on sale. They were on sale. Three things of hummus. We eat our <laughs> We'll only need to eat for like a week, but you know, we wanna make sure we're eating good. Oh, we're getting there. Slowly but surely. The wind is still wild. Like this has got to be one of, I yeah, this has got to be one of our more bad windstorms. Luckily the rain didn't come, which is super nice, but yeah, I'm looking forward to when this thing calms down because we're not leaving like this. <laughs> I'm cooking my last meal using the induction burner before we switch to, well, we're gonna switch to propane for now, but we are having stir fry veggies and some noodles. I'm gonna try and fit them all in the, our very tiny pan. I don't know how it'll work out, but yeah. Good pre-departure meal, I think. Wow, baby. Apparently there's like 50,000 people without power right now from this wind. That's actually a problem. I know, it's wild. I don't know like what, I forget what um, like area that was. I didn't overcook the noodles. I don't think. I think I'm gonna miss like ele electrical, like the induction oven, but I'm also really excited to start cooking outside again. And we'd have like the stove outside and we'd have to like huddle under like what we could and just like cook in the rain and yeah. we've upgraded. Yeah, those rainy days are gonna be funny. Yeah, they're often just to go around. Around the island. That'll add what, like an hour? The only thing is we are kind of fighting currents. 
It's the same, pretty much the same. 21 point, wait, can you, oh, 21.6 nautical miles? Mm. I think that's exactly the same. How is that even possible though? That's not bad. Maybe we just have to, maybe we can avoid the rocks. The thing is, once we go around it, then we turn, we basically get on a... Straight. We get on a straight all the way. I guess you either have to go inside or outside, right? Can you go nice and close there? Just well, think about it, Barry, because we have to come inside first and then go around. Yeah, they go brrrp or brrrp. Why did everyone go on the inside? Then tides are kind of against us, but if we leave at noon, and then it goes to, and then we sit here. So like tides are just get even, even more with us. Yeah. Yeah, we could probably do like six or seven knots now. Yeah, so those tidal currents aren't a big deal because they're and just- And when we see people right? standing, remember we always see people that do. Yeah, that's true. We're like, oh, what would happen if we went out there? Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, let's do it. At the very least, it's new territory for me. Mm-hmm. And I, I do want to see it because there's a lighthouse. Here. What? Yeah. This is such new news to me. Wow. Okay, so... Now, maybe it takes us a bit longer, but so what if it doesn't matter. And it'll give us time to play with our jib and stuff. And we can get on that track as soon as we turn out. Mm-hmm. So we can... We don't have to, like... Yeah, because otherwise we usually come in, right? Yeah, and there's no there's no need for us to be close to the shore. No. Okay, nice. So slack tide would be six. Wow, that's amazing. So it'll be a little low, but it'll be rising. Gonna make use of our hose and scrub the decks before we leave. Make use of our hose and unlimited fresh water. If you can't tell, I am exhausted. <laughs> we left all the fun projects. Until the night before we leave. We've just been so busy. Yeah. And like this isn't essential, but also we want the clean decks. Like it's been all winter. They collect <laughs> pollen and dirt. Okay, so we um, came outside to... Oh, this is a terrible thing. And then we gave up. We came outside and we immediately gave up because it is freezing outside. So we're just not gonna clean the decks because that is not essential. That's only just nice to have. And maybe we'll do them tomorrow. If not, we'll do them at some point later. Five to four, five knots. Simulation to west, two zero to three zero. Clear warning, you have decked. Wind west, three five to four, five knots. Demolition to west, two zero to three zero. Late this evening, then becoming west two zero near noon Thursday. Three five nine. I'm going to see if he'll help us. Okay, so we're just checking our radio because we haven't really had it on or used it at all in a couple years, and um, and we really want to make sure that in the in the case that we do need it, that it is working. So, I don't know how to turn it off. We got the weather going, which is kind of cool. And they are confirming that there is still a huge windstorm. Oh, well, That's nice. pretty big, 35 to 45 knots, holy. I feel like we've had a very successful day despite not being able to wash the decks. Um, that's absolutely not a priority. It just makes the boat look better and it needs to be washed, but we think we're actually gonna leave tomorrow afternoon because that's when we think the currents are the best. And yeah, so we hopefully will have time in the morning. But. We're both exhausted. We've had a huge day, but we got everything done on our list that we needed to get done, which is huge, hey? Yeah, we'll see about uh, doing the decks in the morning when it's not so freaking cold. Yeah, it really got cold, holy. Yo. Crap. Marine. If I write SAR, will you know what that means? Search and rescue? Yes. Channel 16 or call star 16. So you really just have to remember right. 16, star 16. Okay, nice. I can do that because that's the emergency channel on the VHF. Yeah. 